Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, I think. Um, is it? I think it is. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking about um, this little couple of little analogies that you, Jesus used um, in uh, recorded for us in Luke five thirty six and thirty seven. Uh, <clears throat> um, it's interesting, it, it, this came as a result of the Pharisees and, um, uh, and scribes asking him um, why, uh, why he, his disciples were not fasting. Why were they feasting <laughs> with sinners and tax collectors, uh, but they weren't fasting? You know, it was a traditional thing for Jewish people to certain time of the year to fast. And uh, Jesus says to them, can you, can you make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? <clears throat> and because they'd asked about the traditions of the old um, covenant, of the covenant that was in existence, Jesus told them these two little parables. He said to them, no one tears a piece from a new garment and puts it upon an old garment. If he does, he will tear the new, and the piece from the new will not match the old. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? If you are patching a garment, um, an old garment, you, you don't take a patch from a new garment to put onto that old garment. Uh, the two, the, the old garment, the material is wearing out, and uh, it, it won't be any good, it won't match. And, uh, I mean, he's not saying the old garment is bad and the new garment is good. He's just saying you can't mix the two. And he goes on to say no one puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skills, skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wine skins. Now, they didn't have bottles for wine back then. They had... Uh, containers made of animal skins uh, to contain the wine. Um, so we just have to accept that that's what they did. But these wore out. And if you had some new wine, you put it into new wine skins. <clears throat> because the skins wear and, and they'll burst. And what he's saying here is, quite clearly, that the new, the new revelation he was bringing about the coming of the kingdom of God and the new ways that were, were associated with it were so different to the old ways, the old covenant, that you couldn't mix the two. My, my Bible here has this little note. The parables of the new cloth and the new wine are designed to teach the same general lesson. The unwise bringing together of old and new is self-defeating. To mix the new and living kingdom of God with the obsolete legalistic system of the old Jewish dispensation is self-defeating. This was shown to be true after Pentecost when it became necessary to separate the Christian church from the Jewish community, which still put its trust in works of religion and merit. So he's saying here, this doesn't mix. You can't. You can't put the old and the new together. And there are people who, who try to mix the old and new, who, who are what we would call legalistic. They, they insist on observing um, as part of uh, our Christian faith the, 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 the laws of the Old Testament. Now, the laws of the Old Testament and the Old Covenant are very wise and, very, and they teach us a lot about how God views things but they are not necessary for salvation. The new covenant ratified in the blood of Jesus is far superior to the old covenant and the two cannot be mixed. Jesus did not say the old was bad. He just said that the old garment was worn out. Uh, I've got an old pair of trousers and it's got a hole in it. And what did I do? I undid the seam at the bottom of the leg and took a bit of the turn up um, and patched the garment. 
using the same fabric, which is the same age as the garment. We, we can do that, but uh, to make it last longer. But the picture is very clear that the two things simply don't mix. That either, either you observe and you live your life as a Jew or you live your life as a Christian. And the two things don't really mix. Um, and, they, uh, and they're not meant to mix. The, the old covenant was the precursor, was the, the way for God to reveal to all of us that we simply cannot satisfy the law in all its parts ourselves. We need salvation. We need a saviour. We cannot do it ourselves by observing the law. We can't keep it all. That's what the law was given for, to show that it was impossible to get right with God by any other means than by the sacrifice of his son. So, two interesting little stories there, little pictures <coughs> uh, that we mustn't mix. There's certain things that don't that don't mix, and we mustn't try and mix them. Have a great day today. God bless you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.